Okay, this is a tutorial for the GIMP, the image manipulation program that's uh, quite similar to Photoshop in many ways, but obviously it's open source, so it's free, so the price is right. Um, what we're going to do today um, is look at how we can overlay textures onto images to create nice effects, um, particularly the sort of thing that you'll see on deviantart.com, these very kind of gothic um, artistic images um, where you basically make people look like zombies or sort of decaying vampires and things like that. A really nice, cool effect, but it's really simple to do. Um, so what we're going to do first, um, I just want to point your attention to um, a similar tutorial by Al Ward of ActionEffects.com. Um, he actually goes through this process as it works for Photoshop. So all of the theory from this tutorial actually comes from Al Ward's um, very good tutorial about Photoshop. But because the user interface for the GIMP is slightly different, I just thought I'd run through the basics of how to achieve exactly the same effect, but obviously with the GIMP. So what we're going to need to do first, um, you need to find your texture and the model image that you will want to be using. So I've taken out the two that I'm going to be running with here. This is a, just a peeling metal paint image that's not particularly great for what I want to do, but it just shows you the basics for it. And this just came from a, uh, a free stock archive. And we've also got a picture of um, the actress, Monica Bellucci, who um, just happens to have a, a dark background and pale skin, which is ideal for what I'm about to show you. So what we're going to do first is you select the texture that you want to overlay. And very, very simply, we're just going to select all. And once you've selected it, edit and copy. And that's really all we need to do with that texture image. So I'm just going to minimize that and get it out of the way. Now, with the image of Monica Bellucci, we need to paste into um, the image what we've already got on the clipboard. So edit, paste into. And very simply, we've got our new layer. Um, there's a slight problem at the moment. Firstly, this is only a floating selection, so we're going to turn that into a separate layer, and it's easier to work with. So we right-click it and just click on New Layer, and it very simply becomes the new layer. And the other thing that we need to do, as you can see, if I make this invisible, we haven't actually changed the image behind at all, but we've put this layer in front, which is obstructing the image that we're trying to work with. So what we need to do is change the mode of that layer. Um, and this just very simply changes the way that the layers interact with each other. So it's currently set to normal, but what we want to do is um, make it so that it only shows where we have the texture darker than the background image. Um, so the effect that that will indeed have will mean that because the texture at no point is darker than any of the black space that we've got, the texture doesn't show up. But where the texture is darker than, say, the skin or parts of the eyeball, um, the image overlays. And you can experiment with these. You might find um, ones that you would prefer to use. For example, overlay is um, much more subtle and just gives us a kind of uh, kind of flaky skin look. Um, if we look at multiply, that's actually quite dark, um, which is, again, sort of very gothic, very evil looking. Um, or we might have... Um, for example, saturation, which desaturates the image behind and just leaves us with this kind of faint pinkish, reddish, kind of bloody trace, which again is very kind of eerie. But the one I'm going to go with for the moment is dark and only. Now, at the moment, the image that we've got, um, the texture itself has drained a lot of the whiteness out of the original picture of Monica Bellucci. Um, we actually lose too much colour or too much um, contrast from her face. So what I'm going to do, excellent, someone's just signed in. Uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do, just duplicate that layer and click on this layer so I can work on it. And what I'm going to do to this layer is right click on it, go to the layer and the colours and then desaturate. Now, as you can see, that there has now changed the color value behind it. And I'm just going to move this up on top and very simply overlay it. 
Okay, now the overall effect that this has had, if I get rid of the texture and actually the coloured image, um, this is a black and white grayscale image of Mike Bellucci. Um, that's the original image we had. If I overlay the black and white one, you can see the effect. It kind of brings out a kind of glowing effect to her skin um, because the grey is trying to come through this image as well. And when we add our texture layer back on top of that, um, or sorry, in the middle of that, um, we get a much nicer kind of paler, deader image. Um, so if I just show you the difference that grayscale image has made, um, this is without and this is with, and although the difference isn't particularly noticeable, um, I do prefer the way this looks, and at the end of the day, it is all about preference. So um, that's pretty much all I'm going to show you. Um, it's a very simple um, approach to it. You can do other things in terms of playing around with the color levels, the light levels um, of the background images or the layers, but I just wanted to show you really that this is where you can find the layers mode that allows you to mimic that effect that so many people can do on Photoshop. Anyway, I hope you found um, this kind of GIMP translation for a Photoshop effect useful, and I hope you have fun with the effect. Thank you.